All right, people. That was a bit loud. All right, people. Let's just say you got tomorrow people power. Like we've all been calling for with Bilderberg, with Alex Jones. We get people power. So like the revolution in Egypt. Imagine that happened in England and America and or any country. Because, you know, as far as I can see, the revolution in Egypt has put the Muslim Brotherhood in, which I was going to say the powers that be, but I'm now just going to say the beast who controls everything. The beast. He put in he's they seem he seems to want um the Muslims to be in control of that area um so that the West can go in and have a massive war. Which is happening now. So yes, it is the beast. The beast is out. Right? Just watched a, a video on this from um BP Earth Watcher about the 666 um, and basically it is an Anunnaki guy called Adad and um, he was locked away on the earth but it's been let out this is this is the, the story this is the tablature so there may be some of these things I'm not saying it's this word for word but shit is happening and I've known for a long time known just in my heart that the world is run by some evil and I've said before I didn't really think it could be human because how could they be so cruel in the understanding of it humans carry a lot of it out but they they are kind of, well, they have a tainted, everyone has a tainted opinion of the world. I've talked about this with people, and that, you know, a lot of people saying that your picture of the world is, in a sense, affects how the world is. Now, I think that's right on a personal level, but. You know, at the end of the day, factual things happen. Like the people being controlled and sl enslaved. And in some ways, all this sort of Maharaji stuff, this sort of, you know, be at peace with yourself, all this sort of, well, of course you've got to be at peace with yourself, but all this sort of, you know, you can invent your own planet and everything else. In a sense, aids the beast in his aims because then you're just happily getting along with whatever the status quo is and you're not going to rock the boat, right? He doesn't want the boat to be rocked. It all depends on that everything works. And then these people doing the evil, the people, the humans who do carry out the beast's wishes, the evil tasks, they can kind of I don't know, they can just kind of be alright with it, I suppose, because things keep carrying on and just say, well, that's the way the world is. Because it has been like this for a long time. So this beast, whatever, it probably is maybe a long-living thing. I don't know, but I'm just going to stop saying the powers that be. You know, the evil one sounds a bit crap, so I'm just going to say the beast. Um, right, so I started this off saying, you know, what, what will, what would we do if we had done what Egypt had done and kicked out our government? What would we do? But before I go on to that, because I've decided now I'm going to make videos, <laughs> I'm just going to sort of talk the way I feel like talking and, um... Hopefully, you know, that within that sort of chaos will 
will come out um, some sort of structure but it might make the videos a bit longer so I apologize for that but anyway we are on a, we are on the brink of a war now and um, if I could speak to someone in the military now I saw someone a few months ago within my work customers sometimes have guys in the army need to fix this stuff but anyway if I saw one now I'd probably say to him look you know this World War 3 is a fucking set up it's all been it's all been laid out as we know the previous wars have been this law this war is being constructed they're gonna do something so that it, it it makes Islam fight the West Christian so the beast is coerced in this war the reason is coerced many wars before to advance technology to get rid of some population yeah I mean I you know I'm a believer in uh, Nibiru or have been and, and this would support that as well if this guy's anarchy would have been left the last time but you know I've kept thinking it was going to come it's going to come apparently it should be right here now according to Astral Traveller um, I felt that we'd see it coming in but maybe we won't see it until it flips around the sun and you know I have felt I've had a lot of weird feelings and also Astral Traveller he put on a, a model of the earth with its gravitational effects over the last well, no, up to 2012 and back about 10 years and it's very apparent on there you see the gravitational effects over that 10 year period get stronger and stronger it's a really good model and you can see right at the end there's a part of South America that's just pulling up sort of so much more gravity and other bits with less gravity it's quite quite revealing um, yeah and I guess you know the fact that it's getting stronger suggests something that's having an impact on it is getting nearer but anyway side Nibiru for the moment because we ain't gonna know when it's coming so I'm gonna stop trying to guess when it's coming we'll know when, we'll know when it's here Anyway, I'm getting odd effects, and um, might be another reason for the for this this scaling up of the speed of this um, war, and and another thing that will probably come with this war, which I was watching on someone else's thing, um, was about um, yeah after the war there's going to be a world currency and a world government but anyway we've known that right so back to my original thing that I was going on about say we get the revolution whatever has to come first but we don't know what's going to happen so you know we should start planning the revolution in a sense so we obviously don't do what Egypt did and let someone else put someone into power now democracy is an easy way to do that because as soon as you say well let's set up a democracy you know the beast has its sort of fingers and all sorts of pies and comes over with someone very credible good at speaking da -da -da -da. so you know democracy democracy doesn't work on a scale of millions it can't you know democracy was first brought out that we know of in Athens it was just that city and they just decided that hey look you know Athenians will decide what happens in Athens so basically what they decided was that everyone would have a say so that's true democracy <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be but um, you know you can't have that with 60 million people you can't have 60 million people getting their way 
So, you know, no one seems to be facing this question. Um, I think, uh, what was I watching there? Yeah, coast to Coast. And I had a guy on there talking about Bilderberg and saying that, you know, Bilderberg is a kind of, it's a remnant of the secret society group. You know, there's still some bits remaining in there, but it's not a problem for them to shut up Bilderberg and continue with the new ones. And in the same way that the G8 and things used to be sort of not really known about too much, kept that sort of a bit hush, but, you know, these things come out and then they just move on to to more secretive groups, and all controlled by this beast. So, yes, this guy, when they came to the point of saying, um, you know, what what should we do? What can we do? What what will we do when the financial crisis hits and you know there's no food or whatever? You know, the next step in the, if you like, and then he just changed the subject and talked about something else. So I want to talk about this. Um, I want to give give my ideas basically. Um, this is going on a bit long. So I'm going to make this a two-parter. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will talk about it in the next part. <laughs>